In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy name, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. So I was asked three questions by three very young children recently when I visited some homes in New Jersey. Uh, one girl and one little boy asked me one question in regards to what I wear. So the three-year-old boy said, Father, why do you always wear the same thing every day? And his sister added, and why do you always wear black? And those are good questions. You know, you see a priest walking around in black with this white collar, and you may wonder, you know, why? What's, what's the reason? Well, I think the main reason is we have to distinguish ourselves, right? So people need to recognize there is a priest. There is a priest because he's wearing that uniform. Just like I can recognize a policeman if I'm in trouble by his blue uniform and his badge, I can say, hey, police officer, I need your help. Someone's getting mugged. Because I can tell they're a police officer by what they wear. Many, many times because I'm wearing this, this outfit, this, this uh, you know, clerical shirt that's black, often my suit in the winter, this white collar, people will stop me and say, Father, do you have a minute? Father, can you hear my confession? So it's a beautiful thing to be a witness out there for Christ, and I'm very proud and happy to wear this. Now, I don't wear it on the golf course. I don't wear it when I go for a run, right? I don't sleep in this. I have pajamas. But I do wear it most of the day, and, and most priests do, and we're happy to do it. The reason it's black is because that's a symbol of death. We're dying to ourselves, so as to live for God and live for others. And that little tiny white collar around my neck is a symbol of my purity, of my total dedication to God, that I'm sacred to Him. I belong to Him. I'm married to Him. I'm not available. It's kind of like having a wedding ring on, right? So I hope that helps with those two questions. And then finally, the third question came from a little girl during dinner. She wrote out this question and she said, why is the church called our mother? Why is she referred to as she and not he? And that's a beautiful question. You know, I was just with my mother in Michigan. When I think of my mother, I think of someone who's very tender, very warm, very focused on, on protecting me, on loving me, and praying for me, caring for me. From the minute I was born until the minute she dies or I die, she's obsessed in a healthy way with, with how I'm doing. And that's the way the Catholic Church is. She's a loving, caring, tender mother. The second you're born into her through baptism, to the moment you die through anointing of the sick, she will care for you, protect you, love you look after you. So it's, those are three very good questions, boys and girls. I hope those are helpful. And I hope you have a very blessed weekend. God bless you all.